All right, what is good, you guys? I am back again to show you another installment of my home studio. Going to give you a full tour of what I have in here. I got a few other things that I keep in storage or whatever, but I'm just going to show you guys the things that I have here that I use on a daily basis. And uh, definitely, one last thing, security-wise. You guys might think that, uh, you know, I'm just over here lacking or whatever. Uh, I got a few things that would definitely help you meet your maker very soon. Let's get to the tour. All right, so first thing we're going to do is going to start off with my iPad room. As you guys can see, got a little TV with the little small little Sega Genesis thing over there. Got my light right here. Love this little newer light. It's actually really dope. Got my stand for my camera. Got the Cali Audio 8s right here. These things are phenomenal. Sitting on the Soundrise Pro stands right here. And I got the uh, 2020 iPad Pro. No need to upgrade. This thing is phenomenal. Got the Akai uh, Mini all black keys. Have a nice little lamp for my key over it. Have a USB-C dock. I can't remember what the name of that dock is, but it's on like 90 bucks on, uh, on Amazon. I'll see if I can find the name of it for you. Of course, got my stand for my overhead shots. Got my little battery so my camera won't, you know, <laughs> Turn it off for me while I'm doing videos. I got the Audient ID14. This thing sounds crazy. That's pretty much it. That's everything in here. Got a little panel on the wall, you know, some little stuff in here. And that is pretty much it in this room. All right, next thing we have is my plaques. Yes, got all my plaques right here on the wall. Got my Grammy plaque right here. Got all these plaques. And also, I know you guys, like <laughs> for a few years now, I've always been saying that I'm gonna order the other plaques to put on the wall because to be truthfully honest, there's about 12 to 14 more plaques I can order. The only thing is I just haven't put in the order. Don't know why, but you know, when I first got the plaques, they were like, a big thing to me but they're not that big to me anymore but i will order the plaques i just haven't got around to it but i'm gonna go ahead and order those things and show my accomplishments here at the house i might even put some in the studio downtown but i don't know yet those are my plaques hooray all right now for the main studio here at the crib as you guys can see i got the panels on the wall and everything which i actually built all of these panels myself even the cloud here and all these little panels built all of them and i'm currently building more panels i'm always building panels but as you can see i have a uh, light right here soft box which if you notice on my lives you will see like some changing colors back here in the back i have a uh, light in here that changes colors I'm probably gonna switch this out though for some better stuff. I got a bass on the wall. This was actually given to me by one of my homeboys years ago. I don't play it. <laughs> I can kind of hit a few notes on it, but I don't really play it like that. Um, I have an older guitar in that bag in there. Of course, as you guys can see, I have some nice little stands with some lights. I usually turn those on when I'm doing my live reviews and everything, so those are very handy got the leather couch from ikea had this couch for years this is a very good couch got it on sale from ikea a few years ago for like 300 bucks and this thing is very good what is this what is this oh this is my road mic stuff right here oh okay i don't need that this is my um this is my mpc live 2 use this a lot especially when I'm on the road or I'm going to the studio to make beats. And uh, this case right here is like a $30 case off of Amazon. And as you can see, everything fits in there. I've had this for a while. Works good. Love this machine. Love it. This is great machine. Over here, I have my uh, little stand to hold my camera when I'm doing like IG videos and stuff. Of course, batteries and all that good stuff. Cleaning stuff to keep it clean in here. And I have another guitar that was gifted to me by my daughter. So it's very special. Don't know how much she paid for it, but it's very special to me. So I hung it up and I'm actually kind of learning how to play it a little bit better. I know how to strum a little bit on it, but I'm not that good yet, but I'll get there. The Mothership, MPCX, love this thing. Had this thing for a long time. Um, shout out to C-Note for forcing me to buy it. <laughs> He just called me one day, was like, yo, buy the X. Stop playing, buy the X. So I bought it that day. And I'm glad he told me to get it. 
it's been a love hate relationship with it but i'm i'm glad that i got it even though i might still get the machine we'll see about that all right <laughs> right down here i have my rolling fa06 now this is a newer edition from the last time i did the last beat review this keyboard is very good now i'm actually going to order the new phantom o series keyboard the 61 or the 76 whichever one comes in stock first i'm gonna order that um nice little stand right here for it this is the quick lock keyboard stand love this keyboard stand i actually have a three-tier stand when i had the behringer but um i got rid of the behringer um you know, it was actually a gift for Christmas that my girl got me. I didn't really use it, I didn't really need it, and she was cool about it. You know, we actually sold it on Reverb, had a very bad experience with that, with the customer, but Reverb set me straight and they, they did right by me. So no complaints for Reverb, but just gotta be careful with the customers. All right, so um, have another light in here. Uh, this is the light I use for my live reviews. This thing is dope. These LED lights, dope, way better. There's no soft boxes, in my opinion. Those are dope. Um, as you guys can see here, got the 13-inch MacBook M1 Pro, 64 gigs of memory, four terabytes of storage, M1 chip. This thing is crazy. It got an M1 Max chip, the upgraded chip in there. It's crazy. Underneath that, you got the SSL. Yes, sir. Got the SSL and I track all of my beats from here into the SSL. Very, very good audio interface. Very good audio interface. All right, what else we got? Um, we got the Focal. We got the Focal 8s. Love these speakers. Very transparent. And uh, I don't think I need any other speakers for this room right now. I've had so many speakers. I've had very expensive speakers. I've had cheap speakers. But these right here just work really well with my room. Um, yeah, the desk. Got the Argosy desk. Bought this years ago. Still a great desk. I actually got this desk. Very good price years ago. Now these desks are going for like two grand out the gate. I think I got mine for like fifteen hundred. And they still owe me another part to this because the uh, the wood was chipped. But they just told me whenever I needed just to hit them up. So shout out to Argosy for that. Great, great, great desk great desk love it all right so what do we have in the racks we got the Furman um, PL plus C power conditioner very very good power conditioner very clean love this power conditioner I actually got two of them got another one on that side I'm gonna show you that in a second very good power conditioner comes with the lights and everything on it so you can turn on the lights and all that good stuff very good power conditioner and the lights can go back in really dope and it just shows you the bolters and everything on it love it i got some rack fillers in there got those from amazon i got the dangerous monitor st super clean sound super transparent sound spent a little money on this but i am glad i did is it a necessity no you can get through with just about any monitor controller out there like any monitor controller could do the trick but this thing is dope uh right here yep that is a behringer rack mount mixer very very dope this thing is actually very good it actually takes the signal from out of here and then just even running it through here it just bumps up the signal a little bit more and i get a little more juice out of it so very very good piece of equipment for like 130 bucks love this love it a lot all right next i have right here is just a regular behringer patch bay so if i want to patch certain things in i can just patch it in i don't really need much so i don't need the whole what the little flock system flocker system i don't need all that i just need just a regular patch bay and i'm fine i got the sony a7 III. this is what i do most of my videos on right now i'm filming on the uh sony a6000 but this right here is what i do most of my videos on as you see i have the monitor so i can see myself i got the uh 16 millimeter sigma on here and i got it on this right here this sir siri 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 stand dope stand these things can fold up and turn the handheld dope 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 stand glad i got that next thing i have is the monitor st remote so i can just you know switch to all my speakers and everything and just switch you know my inputs my speakers and all this stuff this thing is dope love it and it just looks good in the studio all right i got the old dinosaur in here the uh 20 15 iMac 
does its trick. I do all my mixing on it. I do not feel the need to upgrade. Don't need nothing else. Just use this and I'm perfectly fine. I do all my sessions on it. When I feel the need to upgrade, I'll do it but I don't need it right now. Got me a nice uh, 55 inch TV up there. I bought this TV years ago on sale from Best Buy. I got it for like 275 from Best Buy. No need to upgrade, looks good. Sounds good, everything's cool. All right, of course I got my little stuff sitting on top of the speakers. You gotta have some type of action figurines or something like that. Just gives the studio a little vibe. Another Focal 8. As you can see, I have another Furman power conditioner over here that is running the Avalon 737. Love this thing. I actually changed out the tubes. Man, changing out the tubes in this thing really gives a lot of character. I've had other stuff to go along with. I've had distressors. I've had a lot of other compressors and things, but this is all you need. Like for me, I don't really like to drive the vocals in too hard. And plus I'm not really recording that much here. So I don't really need that much stuff. So this right here does the trick. And this was also actually um, a gift from uh, one of the OGs. He, uh, he actually gave me this years ago for doing some production for him. And it burnt out one time, had to get the whole circuitry fixed and got everything redone. Had to spend a few bucks to kind of, you know, refurbish everything. But this thing is a beast. Of course, got the Apollo X6 right here. This thing is incredible. The clock in here, the pre's, the output, everything is incredible. And I, I gotta say this, there is a difference to me in sound from the rack mount units to the desktop units. These rack mount units just sound so much better to me. I don't know if I'm just tricking myself, but they sound really, really good. And this is what drives pretty much the whole mixing system, man you know, and everything. Even though I do a lot of mixes on my SSL, but when I'm doing full sessions, I use this. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I have the, uh, you know, I have the satellite for the Universal Apollo satellite, just to give me a little bit more power, even though things are turning native now. Um, let's see here at the bottom, I have the uh, JBL down there speaker. This thing is crazy, sounds good, it's ported, sounds amazing. Um, and right here, I have another power conditioner. It just, just gives me a little bit more clean power. And this right here is, say for instance, I'm working on a session or something like that and the power goes off, it has a battery in there and I can keep rocking. And I can really keep rocking for like another four to five minutes with that. So that's actually an old one. I bought that for like 120 bucks at Best Buy like seven years ago and it still is great. The monitor stands. These are Argosy monitor stands. Bought these some years ago. So I want to have some stands that kind of match the uh, desk and everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it inside of the main part. So now let's go in the booth. And it is very dark in here. And as you can see, I have the uh, colored light in here. And I changed this booth up so much. And it's actually under construction because I just built some panels. I got to put some more panels going down the side. I like to do it sideways. I'm going to do like a, another 15 inch up there and probably another 15 inch right here. And I have some stuff already up and I got these on the walls and I got, I'm gonna do like another 15 inch down here. And it doesn't sound bad right now, but when I get done with it, it's gonna sound really good. Um, as you can see, I have my uh, uh, Audio Technica headphones in here. I got this column from somewhere a long time ago. I don't know where I got it from. And I have a, uh, a headphone monitoring device, just a Behringer headphone monitor device. Sounds good. It's only like 20, 30 bucks. Sounds good. If you don't need to spend money on it, don't spend money on it. All right. So what do we have right here? We have the ultimate support mic stand in here. These are about 200 bucks on Amazon or just about anywhere else. Very sturdy, very good mic stand. Okay, I have the uh, Chaotica Eyeball. We all know about that. I just got it because I just wanted to isolate the vocals a little bit more. And the mic is the U87 AI. Bought this some years ago. Saved up my money, got it. And this thing sounds phenomenal. And that is pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That is my whole setup here at the house. I have some other stuff. I have a whole bunch of MIDI controllers, 
and uh, I got my 2500 and all that stuff. All that stuff is in storage, but I'm not really using it, so I don't really show it. But as you guys can see, you do not need that much for your home studio. Some of you guys have gas, gear acquisition syndrome, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. If that fuels your passion, that is cool. But for me, I don't need much. I just need just enough to get me where I need to go and I can take it from there. But as you guys can see, this is my home studio and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. So let me know if you got any questions about the gear, hit me up in the comments and I'll try to answer them for you. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.